I so appreciate being able to hear Dan Sullivan talk about the U.S. military. His love of the military always shows. And it's important to us in Tennessee. And as he said, why is it? Why is it that Chuck Schumer is not bringing this bill forward? The reason is because it is not a priority for him. And it is not a priority for the Democrat Party. They would rather be talking about climate change and social programs than fulfilling a constitutional duty and providing for the common defense. There's a lot that we have to be keeping our eye on. Let me touch on just a couple of things. Uh, first of all, China. And as we look at great power competition and what this is doing to us, to our readiness, to our ability for 21st century warfare. And there's a lot of conversation around hypersonics. And right now, much of the testing that we can do and have the ability to do on hypersonics is located in Tennessee at Arnold Engineering Development Center. That's where we have wind tunnels. That is where we have the capacity. And funding for this testing is included in the NDAA. Also, we can look at what China is doing to Taiwan and how important it is for us to send the message that we stand with Taiwan as they push back on, on China. Our allies need to know that we are with them, and our enemies need to know that they should be fearing us. And those are important messages to send. Now, China is joined in the axis of evil by Russia, and you can look at Russia's aggression right now, <clears throat> the way that they are pushing troops back into the Ukraine, the way that they are conducting exercises as they have not conducted them in the past four decades. This is their aggressiveness. Why are they doing this? Because the Democrats are not interested in national defense. That's the message they're sending. And our president is more interested in climate change than he is in national defense. Russia and China are joined by Iran in the axis of evil. And we know that they have carried out that drone strike in Syria. They're also joined by North Korea. And look at what they are doing with long-range missile testing. Now, the withdrawal from Afghanistan was a disaster. It was an embarrassment. Everyone admits that. And our military needs to know that the United States has their back and that we are going to be there with them. And it's one of the reasons to pass this NDAA.